I see parts, but I'm also looking at your STI just because I can't not. I just always look at it when it's in the. And then Dominic's over there. I can't not look at him because he's super <laughs> sexy. Big sexy. Dude, what is this? It looks like you have a lot of Mishimoto stuff. Yeah, lots of Mishimoto stuff. What's this for? A heart body. What? We need to cool. I noticed you have a lot of space where your radiator should be. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that uh, Mishimoto makes decent parts, so we're going to try them out. Right on. Let me move my lip to my STF. What do so we anyways, have? What do we get? Um, we get? What do we get? What I don't know what this is. We'll open it. Okay. This is a 11 or a 12 inch race fan. Okay. Um, so it's like, it's super thick. It flows like 1600 CFM. Maybe this is a radiator. <laughs> All right. Maybe, maybe this is a radiator. We don't know which is which. I one's a radiator, radiator. one this is one's something else. Yeah, it's a fan shroud. Fan shroud. Fans. That's right. Um, and the fans here, they're 1100 CFM or something like that. So I want to put one big one on and one little one. Okay. And we'll see if we can't get it all to squeeze in here. It's, it's a pretty tight fit here for the big fan, but I think we can squeeze it in. I'm hoping. Because as you'll see, KA radiators are stupid. <laughs> plug is that? It's the drain plug for the oh. bottom. Oh. Dude, new parts are always pretty. Dang, it's got a big W on it. It's an M. <laughs> um, but yeah, this plug is super tight. Oh, snap. So, so make sure you tighten that before you get crazy. So let's set this down. We'll take the next box. All right. This is that be the shroud? Is that baby seat from Mishimoto? It is. <laughs> Not. Like mounting stuff? Yeah, there's some mounting stuff, and then there's some some seal. Which is oh, nice. right on. Yeah, it is nice. Uh, and then thank you, Mishimoto. Oh, that's cool. Maybe it's an air freshener and then some other thing. Nice. Maybe maybe they sent us some stickers. We like stickers. Dude, that's a nice, like, clean setup. That's super nice. Those are 1100 CFM? Serial number and stuff? Yeah. What? I think they were 11. We'll have to double check. Well, they're good looking. This is the important part. Look at that thick fan. Yep. This one I was most excited about. Now, is this supposed to mount up straight to that, sh that shroud that you got? We're going to have to make it fit. Well, we can do sure. that. We can do that. Yeah. We have a few tools to be able to do that. Um, like I said, I don't remember if this is 12 or 11, but this is our big boy fan. Dang, dude. She uh, thick. And it comes with, like, mounting hardware just to mount it straight up like we do on your Oh, car. right on. Yeah. So, but we're going to try and get it on here. <coughs> have to drill some holes and make it go. Yeah, it's the same size. Dude, that's it's way thicker than uh, than the other. What does this one flow? Like 16. Jeez. Compared to 11. 11 together. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Dude, that thing is so thick. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Calm down, Ronnie. We literally just opened this 
And here he is, trying to fit it into the, the truck. Oh, oh, we got Clarence. Clarence. I don't know if we'll have Clarence for the big boy, though. The big boy fan. Unless you put it on this side. But yeah, I know you said you want it on the other side. To move the air cooler out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because it's fatter. What's fatter? The radiator compared to the old one. Oh, the old that's one right. The other one was a two core. That's right. This one's a three core. So I have to pull the air cooler out, which isn't a big deal. There's plenty of room to do it. I just have to remake my mounts. Dang it. Dang it. I'll have to remake these mounts, too, because that one sits flush up here. Oh, no. How are we going to do that? We might have to go to a machine shop or somebody who can weld. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Dude, it looks good. It's nice and shiny. I oh, know, that's the nice part. Looks way better than your other bunk radiator. Shut up. <laughs> Let's see how much room we have with like just that fan on the big the, fan? Yeah. Alright. Without the shroud. I mean there's quite a bit of room. It's snug to get it in. But, I mean, it would fit with the shroud. Especially if you move the radiator forward a bit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I move this out of the way. It should be able to do Yeah. Down. I mean, if you're going to move it forward, move it forward as much as, as much yeah. as you can. That's what I say. Dude, that's pretty, though. God, look at that freaking radiator cap. Dang, so pretty. Can you see the W through here? No. Or the M? <laughs> you see the bottom of it? There's an air cooler in the way. All right, guys. Bo went home. I went and took care of some business. You guys will find out about that soon. Um, but I've been working on getting this in. I put the race fan on the side that I wanted. It's not going to fit, which I figured. So we'll take this one off, move it, put this one over here. Everything will be good to go. <clears throat> this radiator fits really good. I'm working on the, the intercooler mounts right now. Um, it's mounted up top. I gotta build the one that goes from here to the bottom of the intercooler. Um, and then I need to build one that goes here. Keep this thing solid, that way it doesn't puncture this new radiator. So yeah, it's pretty good. Like I said, we're gonna swap out these fans now, and then we'll get the shroud mounted on permanently. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna get that done, and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys. So it's in. <clears throat> um, I got to build some brackets for the top because my old ones don't fit. This radiator's not as wide as the old radiator. It's not as tall as the old radiator. Um, but it's a three core instead of a two core, so it should cool way better. Um, and then add that onto a shroud that actually fits right, plus this monster. And I mean, that's a pretty good flowing fan over there, too. So add all that in. And hopefully this will solve most of our issues. Like I said, i got to make new ones of these. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. <clears throat> Maybe I want to, like, have it bolt here and then come over and go down to there. I think that might look kind of neat if I did it with aluminum. I have this stick of aluminum that I could weld. I had it. Levi took it. And he's been messing with it. Uh... There it is. So I have this stick of aluminum right here. So I could like make it so it goes like this. You know? Sticks out. And then it just goes over to there. And it's got like a slight bend to it or something. So I think I'm gonna work on one of those. The reason I say that is because there's like there's two spots. There's one there and there's one there. So it's kind of uniform, both at the end of the radiator and everything. So I'm going to try and make one of those real quick. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys in a second. There it is, guys. This is my bracket I made. So it kind of, you know, comes off and goes down. I don't know. I think it looks clean. I need to get a grommet or something to go there. That should stop all the shaking. Build another one over here. It'll go here, over, down. It has to avoid this. But yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. I think it looks pretty legit. I don't know. The welder looking better. Been practicing with the aluminum. Looks pretty good. I think. You know, over here you can't see it. I had to grind it down because I wanted this corner to be smooth. 
yeah, it looks good. So, that's the Mishimoto radiator. If you guys want to put a 240 radiator in your car or in your truck, you have to drill out holes in the core support at the bottom because it doesn't just fit. Um, I already did that for that one, so I couldn't show you that. But yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to make the other bracket off camera, get it done probably tomorrow. It's getting kind of late and i got to work tomorrow. So, thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for checking out the, the new Mishimoto stuff. And thanks to Mishimoto for, uh, you know, giving us a deal on it. So, anyways, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.